Wake Up Babe, a new Flutter fork, just dropped. The team behind it released a blog post saying how they're gonna make the rapid development of Flutter. They said Flutter team is 50 people, which is not an official number, Google by the way, let me tell you. So the funny thing is they did some GDP per capita thing on their blog post, see this. That's 50 people serving the needs of 1 million doing a little bit of division. That means that every single member of the Flutter team is responsible for the needs of 20,000 Flutter developers. That ratio is clearly unworkable for any semblance of customer support. Also, they said Google's corporate refocused on AI caused the Flutter team to deprioritize all the desktop platforms. As we speak, the Flutter team is in maintenance mode for three of its six supported platforms. Desktop is quite possibly the greatest untapped value for Flutter, but it's mostly stagnant. Okay, now I have a question in mind, like why not directly just contribute to Flutter, right? I mean, forking another thing, that's just a mess. But sadly, trying to work with the Flutter team delivers a different reality. While some developers have had success working with the Flutter team, many of the developers have found it frustrating, if not unworkable. Whatever you experience with contributions to Flutter, one has to critically assess why a team that loves external contributors has only managed to merge contributions from 500 developers over a span of nearly a decade. Okay, they raised a really good point here. Communication monoculture. Most of the team seems to expect a certain way of communicating which doesn't match the variety of personality in the world. Thus, some people have an exceptionally difficult time navigating otherwise quick and simple conversation. Okay, so this was some blog post I showed from Flock team. Now let's see what people are reacting, okay? So let's see on X. Uh, actually, we are not gonna see X because it's just a dark mode LinkedIn nowadays. Let's see what Reddit intellectuals are saying. Okay, the first one is saying, I love the fact that reaction to this announcement on Reddit is total opposite of Twitter where most seems to be excited for this. Laughing emoji. Okay, this is why I opened Reddit because Twitter is just like nowadays a dark LinkedIn. All these points that Matt raised are valid. However, I'm not sure to fog this is the right solution. Ideally, Google should invest more in Flutter. Also, Matt seems to underestimate what 50 Googlers working full time can do. Okay. He's right, like 50 Googlers, full-time working, it's it's not less actually. WhatsApp has the same number of engineers, though the analogy doesn't fit at well comparing a framework to software. I doubt those 1500 professionals at best can produce and communicate as effectively as the core Flutter team. Completely waste of time. This will not reach critically and will only to be thorn in the side of a few developers who were naive enough to try to build something on it. You would be more helpful contributing to Flutter than forking it. You go will nowhere on your own. Okay, that's a really good point. Like contributing to Flutter will make it better than forking it and, you know, running an own parallel framework, uh, calling it Flutter++. Plus Plus. As I said in the blog post, it's not going well with the team of Google. While most of the pain points are reasonable, forking and announcing it like this as if Flutter is dead or something hurts you even more. Be smart. Don't waste your time. Flutter is here to stay. Okay, so the reply is, I'm not sure why everyone here is attacking the fork. Uh, they are not trying to replace Flutter. Uh, they are they are specifically talking about it, a drop in replacement that stays up to date to the core Flutter framework and just adding additional functionality slash bug fixes. Use it or not, but I have no idea why every dev here is attacking them. Because you are in Reddit, man. <laughs> Okay, because it could put a burden on everybody that contribute to the Flutter ecosystem. I can't wait to see bug reports start to come in the package X work on Flock but not code Flutter. Okay, yes, it can create a mess for Flutter developers and maybe with Flock. So what's the solution? Use React Native. <laughs> Okay, that's it. That's for today. So this is something that's going to the Flutter community. And I think Flutter is not getting justice for a while. Like seriously, Flutter... The, the way the way it's powerful you know if you want to know more the capability of flutter i would suggest you to read this article by pieces os it's such a great article and link is in the description and i'll see you in the next one